I... My name is Dylan Scott. My ancestors are from Scotland. And today, on Real Talk, we are going to take a look at the land of all of our ancestors. Known as Scotland. Scotland is a country with such rich history. It was founded in early 1900s Dylan, fix your skirt. by the Loch Ness Monster, who was chasing after a mermaid he was hoping to get lucky with. And this is not a skirt, this is a kilt. Later, a guy named Norman Reedus went on to conquer southern England, and he formed the Empire. Scotland was the first country that Norman Reedus set out to conquer. But the Scottish forces resisted. With the mighty help of Harambe, they've pushed back the empire until a child outplayed the gorilla and later killed him. So Ireland needed a hero after they were being pushed back by the evil forces of the empire. So they found a hero and then they died. So then they found another hero. They also died. Sooner or later, they came across the greatest person who ever lived. Mel Gibson, who would lead their people to victory. Mel Gibson knew the lands and was a very well-known velociraptor trainer. It was a long time ago, about 2001. The Empire didn't know how to combat the Velociraptors. Mel Gibson would ride into battle on his own pet T-Rex named Alfalfa. He would also come in using his weapon of choice, Clubber Lane. Did you know he had a T-Rex? At the Battle of the Great Civil War, Mel Gibson was outnumbered 5 million to 300, and those 300 were his Spartans. It didn't end too well, though, for Scotland's greatest hero, just like heroes past from Scotland. He died. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed about that. Death isn't funny. LeBron James would later become the king of Scotland, thus forming the three eastern superpowers. England, Scotland, and the joke of World War II, France. Fun fact about Scotland for you. The smaller the kilt, the bigger the penis. The history of Scotland was later made into a documentary known as Braveheart, where William Wallace played the role of Mel Gibson. It's a fantastic film. It'll last half your lifetime, though. That about does it for all the knowledge that I know of Scotland, or at least all that Wikipedia knows. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Talk and listening to my rant about Scotland, even though I've never really been there. One chance, just one chance, to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take.